Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be learning how we can loft from a curved surface. So for instance, let's create a sketch right here, and we are going to draw a circle. So let's make it 50. I don't know. Looks good to me. And then we're going to extrude this. Bring it up by that much, whatever that is, 100 I think. And we are going to construct a tangent plane to it. So now we have our tangent plane. We're going to create a sketch right in the middle here, and then we're going to project the geometry of this. That's going to give us a rectangle for reference. And just from the middle, um, I'm going to choose rectangle from center point, and let's just do 20 by 20. Well, actually, 20 by 30 is perfect. Um, and then we're going to finish sketch. Now, what we're going to do is extrude this into this. Now it's going to cut it at first, but what you're going to do is select new body. Not join, not intersect, but new body. We're going to press OK. And now, just like in our last video, we are going to use our split body tool. So we're going to use that. We're going to split this body and use this face as the splitting tool. So we're going to press OK there. And now you'll see that th there's a bunch of bodies in here. This one is this body, and then you've got this body and this body. So what we're going to do is this one, we're going to just remove those, the ones that we don't need. So like this little vestige here, we're going to click remove instead of delete. So we'll hit remove there, and then we're going to do the same for that. And now you see this rectangle here that we can use. So what we're going to do then is we're, let's draw something. We'll create a, an offset plane. Um, we'll offset it from this one by like 50, sure. And then we are going to just create a little sketch real quick. Something pretty simple. Um, again, I want to make a little center rectangle. Nothing too fancy. Uh, just to demonstrate the ability. And then we are going to go and click loft. We're going to select this face and this face. And then we are going to press OK. Now there we go. That is how you can loft from a curved surface. Now let's go back to this loft real quick and uh, let's do new body here because I want to show you something. If we were to try and let's say construct a tangent plane here, press OK and then construct an offset plane from that tangent plane another 100 mi millimeters or whatever. Um, if we tried to just basically uh, let's do the same thing. Same, same thing here. Boom. Something like that, right? If we tried to loft from, you see, you can't loft. You can loft from surfaces like that, but from this, you cannot loft from it. So it won't let us. And so that's why we had to make that cut. If we did it from here to here, obviously it's going to work because we made it work like that but from any other part on the cylinder we wouldn't be able to loft because it doesn't know where to loft because like if it's trying to wrap this entire thing around to try and connect at one point it's not going to work so that's how we loft from a curved surface you can pretty much do that with any curved surface and even if you draw it yourself and it's a really simple but useful and effective way of doing it so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe comment down below what you'd like to see next and we'll see you in the next video.